Once again, Idaho is getting some national attention, this time from a vote at the state house, as senators approved a Texas-style abortion bill that would allow a doctor to be sued if they perform an abortion after cardiac activity is detected in a fetus. And the list is long of those who can sue the doctor. Sisters, brothers, moms, dads, any immediate family member of the woman who had the abortion. This is just another level of criminalizing abortion after Governor Little approved a fetal heartbeat abortion bill or abortion ban about a year ago. Joe Paris walks us through today's debate in the Idaho Senate and the qualifiers the new legislation has before it ha or has before going into effect. On the topic of abortion, the Idaho Senate made a major move to add on to the 2021 fetal heartbeat abortion ban. Senate Bill 1309 updates last year's legislation to include the private enforcement mechanism modeled after the Texas Act. In short, the legislation allows certain family members of a pregnant woman to file a lawsuit against an abortion provider who performed an abortion on a woman after a fetus has a detectable cardiac activity. An important note, Senate Bill 1309 only goes into effect if another state with a similar law has it upheld in court. As expected, debate on the Senate floor included emotional arguments from both sides. Critics on the Senate floor highlighted issues with family members becoming the enforcement of the legislation. I'm sorry, I like a lot of my family members, but there are several of them that we don't agree on health care issues. And I wouldn't want them weighing in on what I should be doing with my own personal health care. Supporters of the bill said it was imperative to protect life, specifically life that cannot defend itself. If it is not alive, why does it require outside intervention to terminate it? And since it has its own DNA, its own circulatory system, and often of a different blood type, sex, or even race different from the mother's, it cannot logically be considered the body of the mother. Lawmakers went back and forth, debating merits and value of the legislation. It doesn't represent Idaho, and it surely doesn't represent the hundreds and hundreds of constituents in my district who have contacted me, as asking me to vote no. It grieves my soul greatly when I hear God's greatest creation, which is his children, referred to as a clump of cells. And I don't care what stage of development that is, a life in reference to the abortion laws in Texas and those being considered by the Supreme Court, some lawmakers raised questions about the legislation even being constitutional. Others argued it's a gray area worth risking it for. We're going to have a, a Supreme Court ruling from the federal government, and we got some time. That's soon. So if we'd have to remodel this if they're depending on the ruling. But I think we should wait and see what the ruling is. I think this is a little bit too quick. The tentative constitutional status of the Texas law makes it unclear as to what the law of the land really is. Until that decision is finally made, let's take advantage of this opportunity to halt the slaughter of the unborn in Idaho. As debate concluded, both critics and supporters made powerful emotional arguments. I am adopted. And if it was not for my mother's decision not to have an abortion, I would not be here. And we are here today as a body to be that voice, to be the voice of those that cannot speak. The bill itself feels violent to me. It feels like an attack on me as a human being, able and capable of my own moral decisions about my body, now a government agency, the whole state of Idaho, enabling my family to come after me if I make a choice. And I think we hear that a lot and have heard that a lot, uh, the my body, my choice, and how that's been co-opted in no matter what aspect, even when it comes to the pandemic. Aside from that, is this a copy-paste of the Texas bill? Uh, there's some questions about that. The short answer, Brian, is no. This is not just a copy-paste of what's going on in Texas. There are some actual major differences between the law that's proposed here in Idaho, still has a ways to go, and what is law in Texas. Idaho's law does include, it does include, I should be clear, an exception for medical emergencies, rape, and incest. Texas's law just does not have those exceptions. Now, the Texas law also allows people to sue other people other than the person, the doctor who performed the abortion in the state of 
Texas, for example, if you were to drive a woman to an abortion clinic, you too could be on the hook for being sued under the civil penalty in the state of Texas. So in Idaho, it is just limited to family members suing the person that performs the abortion. So some major differences uh, between what's going on in Idaho and Texas, but the bottom line is that the Supreme Court and major courts are going to have to decide this, so it is wait and see. It is, and as they said, well, why not take advantage of it while we wait and see? All right, thanks, Joe.